All right, ladies and gentlemen, so a little while ago, you guys were with me while I was trying to build a deck. Ran out of time on the video and didn't quite finish it, but that is the video. But I did finish the deck, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to be checking out the uh, mana curb on this bad boy and showing you the cards I decided on. And again, this is for uh, Liliana, the heretical hero, healer, planeswalker, and a Johnny Caller of the Pride. So it's a black-white deck, kind of, sort of, control, but the guy really wanted a tribal deck of zombies and cats, and I was like, mm, all right, I'll make it. So here we go. Uh, we got a pacifism there, and there's a few of those. Uh, it's one of my bombs over here, Rune Scar Demon. All right, then... Uh, after that, we've got Grave Titan, kind of a, these are some of our big, bad cards. When Grave Titan comes into play or attacks, put two, two, two zombie creature tokens on the battlefield. Very dangerous. Uh, next, Waste Knot. This is a cool little enchantment. Whenever an opponent discards a card, put a two, two black zombie creature token into play. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, add two minutes to your mana pool. Whenever an opponent discards a non-creature, non-land card, draw a card. Just kind of cool. Um, next one is Ghostly Prisons. That's for control. Then we have... I'm running out of room already. Then we have Norn's Annex. Creatures can't attack you or plans walk you use your control unless you pay one white Phyrexian mana. <laughs> um, sorry. Then you got... Liliana's Reaver. He's kind of a centerpiece to the deck here. He's got Death Touch. Whenever Liliana's Reaver deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card, and you put a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Strong. Um, Coat of Arms. Showed that to you guys earlier. Path to Exile. Spear of Helioid. Helioid. He uh, Can't say it. White Sun Zenith. Put a bunch of cat creature tokens on the battlefield. Uh, of course, Diabolic Tutor. Kind of curious how that's going to go in a uh, 60 card deck. Soul Warden, I mentioned her to you guys. Here's some land. Ain't worried about that. It's a dual land. That's cool. More land. Ain't worried about that either. Ah, uh, this one's. In, uh, <clears throat> what is that? That looks like. Uh, not Chinese, not Japanese. I am not entirely sure what that is. But this is Victim of the Night. Destroy target uh, non-vampire, non-werewolf, non-zombie creature token. Pretty cool. Murder stuff. Gotta love that. Um, <laughs> I should fix that up so it's legible. Uh, then we got a Johnny's Chosen. Another strong card, and it says there, when an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2-2 white cat creature token onto the battlefield. If that enchantment's an aura attached to it, whatever. Doomblade. Enlightened whatever. Cat person. It destroys enchantments. Uh, then we got another pacifism. Vanguard of Primat Prim 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 Brimis. Whenever you cast a spell that targets, I'm going to put a 1 1 white cat soldier creature token with vigilance on the battlefield. It's pretty strong. Uh, this is obviously to ramp the cats. Then, Siphon Mine. Each other player discards a card. You draw a card for each card discarded this way. So, obviously, that's going to. That's going to pair off with some of the other cards and get, you know, allow for some draw. Then we got Beast Mode, Beast Mode over here. It's a sorcery. Destroy all creatures. Then return creature cards put into your graveyard this way to, to the battlefield under your control. It's a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Exile, <laughs> necromantic selection. And uh, obviously that's to pair with Liliana. Got another one of Liliana's Reavers. He's really fun because he's he is hollow. Or foil, whichever you prefer. That's fun. More cats. More land. Undead Servant. Excuse me. Whenever Undead Servant enters the battlefield, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token in the battlefield. 
uh, for each card named Undead Servant in your graveyard. I'm really hoping that guy works out. Not sure how he's going to do. You got two of these same sorcery here. Target player gains four life. Draw a card. That's hopefully going to allow for some draw. Then we got Necromantic Summonings. I'll read through all of them. This will take forever. Put target creature card from your graveyard into the battlefield under your control. It's pretty strong. Um, more of a Johnny's Chosen. It's got four mana costs, so he's going to go there. More Healing Hands. Another Soul Warden. Another Undead Servant. More Soul Warden. Land. O-Ring. Gotta love Oblivion Ring. When Oblivion Ring enters the battlefield, exile another target non-land permanent. When it leaves, it returns. Oromancer. When Oromancer enters the battlefield, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. It's kind of cool in case someone blows something up. Uh, so, And then we got the these guys again, the Vanguard. Uh, undead. Undead. Victim of the Night. In English. Yeah, that's right. I memorized that. I don't care what y'all think. <laughs> and then all the lands we pulled out before. And some of them, as you see, we replaced over there with some more specific lands that do certain things. And obviously, it might you might need to change it up a little bit to fit the deck. But this is the whole thing. Got three tokens here. Just for fun. We've got our cat creature token. Our zombie our cat soldier and our zombie creature token and oh, that's pretty cool he's from Zendikar that's nice but uh, this is the whole thing these are our main these are our bomb cards over here when these guys come out you know everybody just starts crying which is what you want in a magic game you know people need to be getting upset flipping tables over you know that's how you want to play your game um, but that's that's the whole deck uh, played it through a couple times, did pretty well. I think it should do all right. Curious to see what this guy thinks of it, but um, we'll see. We will see. And uh, he's going to have to figure out what he wants to take out to put in Liliana and uh, Johnny. Because he personally has those cards. I don't have.